Hello, this is Daniel from Trust Tutorials. Today we're gonna look at a very handy thing you can do in Google Sheets. It's renaming columns. You can also rename rows, but I'm gonna show you how to rename columns so you can apply it for rows or column or whatever. This is a really neat little function because it's gonna make your work so much easier. I prepared a little example here with, uh, let's suppose this is uh, sales staff. Um, I have the first and last name of each uh, person as well as the product price of the products they sold and the number of sales they generated as well as the uh, total price of uh, product they generated. So uh, let's suppose we would like to uh, name these uh, columns accordingly. So uh, as an example, let's take column D, which are the sales. Um, instead of column D, I really want to have uh, that name sales. So how would I do this? Actually, it's quite easy. You just mark the column and then you go on to the upper left hand side. This is the name box. You can also jump to the name box by just uh, hitting command and J or I suppose it's uh, oh, shift. I suppose this will be control plus uh, J on a PC computer. You just go there and you delete what's there and you actually name it sales. So you can, of course you can name it whatever you want and you push enter. And now, whenever you go on here, you will see that this is named sales. You can then in the name box also use the drop down and you see uh, the, the named um, areas or the named ranges uh, you already have in the document. So this is the quickest way on how you can do it. And then uh, there's also the option to do the same by jumping into the menu. I'm going to show you here for product price. Uh, let's go on to, um, you just do a right click and the menu is going to open up and then you have to go to the very last option, view more cell actions. And here you have the option. It's the uh, fourth option, define named range. You click on it. And what you see here are the already predefined named ranges. What you then do is you go on to add a range and you see here the name named range one. You can rename that to anything you want. So I am going to rename it to product price. And then I can also select uh, the data range. So I click on this uh, square or these four squares. And this allows me to select the data range um, right here. So everything in C. So let me do that again. Why is it not working? Select a range. Okay, I'm going to select the range uh, right here and I click on OK and we and then I click on done and as you can see there is a new uh, range that is named product price. So we have three ranges defined right here and you hover over it uh, you see what these uh, ranges are and as you can see for test and uh, this is not a column but a row that is named. So why I'm telling you all of this and why uh, is this important? Well, now comes the really cool thing. What you can do now is you can just use the names instead of the ranges itself. You still have the uh, ranges here, like sheet one, and um, this is the, the ranges, uh, the original ranges, but you can now use the names. So let's uh, suppose we would like to get the average sales number. I can just type in average. And then in the uh, brackets, I will use the name that I defined. So I type in sales and hit enter. And now, as you can see, I get the average sales number by just entering the name of the, uh, of the range I defined. How cool is that? 
So this is how uh, you rename uh, columns in Google Sheets or how you actually name uh, columns uh, and also rows in Google Sheets. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when new videos come out. And please have a look at all the other handy, helpful tutorials on Trusted Tutorials. This was Daniel. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video and see you again soon. Bye bye.